Now with most games, 8 gigs of RAM is what's recommended if you want to play newer AAA titles in 2016. Now I know that memory is pretty inexpensive nowadays and you can get 8 gigs of RAM for less than 50 and even sometimes less than $30 right now, but how valid is that system specification? So what I did was test a few games, lighter ones and heavier ones, and see how valid that system specification is and the results are pretty interesting. All right guys, so like I mentioned earlier, I used four gigs of RAM and eight gigs of RAM and I tested them both and I wanted to see if four gigs really does make much of a difference as opposed to eight gigs. And well, like I mentioned earlier again, the results were pretty interesting. I did not change the CPU. I used the Athlon 845 overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz. My GPU was the Radeon 7950 at stock and I used the latest drivers. And then I also had the four gigs and the eight gigs of memory and then some uh, space, some storage Nothing else has really changed. All right, so the first one up is CSGO, and the minimum requirements were two gigs of memory, and the maximum or recommended was four gigabytes. Between four gigs and eight gigs, there was no noticeable difference. The four gigs was a bit jumpier, but again, it was not that noticeable. Counter-Strike can actually utilize up to four gigabytes of memory, so if you have more than that, you can ensure stability, but you will still be fine with the four gigs there. Eight gigabytes of memory gives you about a 3.4% performance boost. So again, nothing drastic there. So with Smite, the minimum requirements was two gigabytes if you're using Windows XP, three if you're using Vista and above, and then four was the recommended. So the difference was a tiny bit noticeable, but it wasn't bad at all. Smite did push 3.5 gigabytes when eight gigs was installed, and the eight gigs gave me an extra 9.4% performance boost. So the eight gigs does help a little bit here, but again, it's not that major. So just like Counter-Strike, SIP 5 has the minimum requirements of two gigabytes and recommended of four gigabytes. 3.1 gigabytes is the maximum the game used, even with eight gigs installed. So four is definitely the most you'll ever need here. Now, eight gigabytes had a higher delta between the maximum and the minimum, but with eight gigs installed, I had a 2% increase, which is within the margin of error. So basically, between four and eight gigabytes, they perform pretty much identically. So now with Warframe, just like the other games, the minimum is two gigabytes and the recommended is four gigabytes. There was a little nice performance jump when I went from four to eight and it was evident throughout the benchmarks, the minimum, the maximum, and the average F FPS pretty much increased consistently. The most noticeable difference between the two is when recording. The four gigabytes was a lot jumpier than the eight gigabytes. I got an 8.5% performance boost with eight gigs of RAM installed. So now we move on to Elder Scrolls Online, which is an MMO RPG. So it will utilize a few more resources than the other games. Again, has a minimum of two gigabytes and then a recommended of four gigabytes. Now the average FPS is near identical between the two, but it was noticeably less jumpy in combat using eight gigabytes, evident with a higher minimum FPS. Now it definitely push the four gigabyte limit and I do think that six gigabytes is a better recommendation for this game. So now we go into heavier titles, the first one being The Force, which has a minimum of four gigabytes and then a recommended of four to six, depending on where you get your information from. Now there is a 9.1% difference between the four gigabytes of RAM and the eight gigabytes of RAM. And this is pretty much consistent throughout the minimum, the average, and the maximum FPS. And just like with Elder Scrolls Online, four gigabytes was a bit jumpier. And I will say that six is probably the better recommendation here for maximum settings. All right, so now for the two heaviest titles, I have Witcher 3, which has a minimum of six and a recommended of eight. There is a 1.5% difference between four gigabytes and eight gigabytes here. And so as you can see, Witcher 3 really takes advantage of the other components in your computer. So if you are playing that game, spend more money on the GPU and the CPU than anything else. Considering that I did use 5.6 gigabytes of RAM uh, with the eight gigabyte module installed, you can tell that this really does eat up a lot of resources. So definitely try to get eight gigs if you can with this game. I think if you're gonna be playing Witcher 3, you really just wanna spend a lot of money on a decent computer. Now Fallout 4 was pretty weird because the minimum and the recommended were both eight gigabytes, but I saw little to no difference between the two. Now there were less jumps like I expected with eight installed, but the average was higher with the four gigabytes than with the eight. I do think that this is between the margin of error, but as you can see, it's pretty much identical when it comes to average frames per second. The weirdest part though, is that I actually used less memory than Counter-Strike Go, even though it had a higher graphical fidelity, which is really weird. So what's the final verdict here? Four gigabytes can definitely take you a long way. Now, the maximum performance that I got when I changed between my four and eight gigabytes was 10%. So my recommendation to you guys is to just figure out what games we're gonna play and then buy according 
to those system requirements. Now, if you're gonna be playing GTA 5 or Witcher 3 or any larger AAA titles such as those two, definitely try to get at least eight gigabytes because that will give you a much snappier and smoother and silkier performance than as opposed to four gigabytes. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If this is the very first video that you guys have watched from me, I would love it if you guys could subscribe. Uh, like the video if you loved it and share with all of your friends if you deemed this pretty helpful. And thank you guys again for all the love and support and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.